We've been out on the Solheimer Yokel Glacier all day and we've been using these. These are polarized sunglasses. And you may be wondering why polarized sunglasses are supposed to be so good, but it turns out that the answer is particularly interesting when you're stood in Iceland. A long time ago, Vikings settled Iceland. And when they did, they had to cross seas that were often cloudy and almost impossible to navigate. Legends have arisen that the Vikings had something called the sunstone, which they could hold up in the air and would tell them where the sun was, which would help them to navigate. It's thought that that sunstone was actually a material that's found here on Iceland called the calcite rock. And calcite has actually got a strange property of polarizing light. It can actually make light that's going in this direction bend one way and light that's coming this way bend in a different way. So I have with me two polarizing filters and each one of these will darken the light. Uh, and you can see as we go through that if I rotate this, the light doesn't actually change much from the sun behind. And that's because the light that's coming from the sun is polarized in all directions. So if we put two together, then we can allow the light to go through or rotate one and make sure they cut out all kinds of light and they go dark. So why are these so good on a glacier? Well, the light that comes from sunlight isn't polarized any particular way, so it'll pass through the sunglasses as normal. But any light that hits ice or water will always be polarized horizontally. So glasses like these have their filters lined vertically to cut off any of that horizontally polarized light. That means all of the glare that you get from the surface of water or from ice can be cut away and thereby avoiding a hazard that can be potentially quite dangerous for someone out in an environment like this.